Hey there, this is Jill coming to you from Baker's Green Acres, where today we had nature doing some detox. It was raining. April showers bring May flowers, right? Um, because what that's doing is helping nature, all the ground out there, get rid of rinse out winter sludge. Our animals just came through that. We did a couple pigs a couple a week or so ago. And we could tell the fat quantity and quality was significantly different than the November pigs because it's a different season and their bodies are doing different things. They'd used up all their winter fat through winter and March is a cleaning time and then April is a rinsing and purging time. Uh, so if it's good for nature, it's good for you. Your homestead health tip for this week is that it's time to detox. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to disrupt your life a lot. Drink a lot of water. I've been drinking over the last few weeks um, up to four quarts a day, which for me, I don't drink enough water normally. So that's been a lot. But if you're not a water drinker, start drinking a lot of water. You can add lemon juice to your water a touch of vinegar. I've been putting tea bags in my water. So I got a detox tea that had dandelion in it and another one that had some licorice in it. And I just put a tea bag in my water in the morning. And then as I refill it, it thins out by the end of the day, but it's got some flavor and it's a gentle steep with uh, herbs that help your body clean the sludge of winter out. Because just like nature, You've got accumulated stuff in your liver especially, but also your lymphatic system. And if you want to go into summer healthy, strong, as vital as you can possibly be, uh, anyone who doesn't, please raise your hand because you are an anomaly. I don't know anyone who doesn't want to be vital and strong. Um, you need to do a little house cleaning in the spring. So it can be that easy. I did a few days of drinking just broth. It'll help your colon relax when your body has space and you get really hungry and you'll be surprised how hungry you don't get until your body has done the clean out and then it's happy and it's ready to eat again. Um, I did just broth with some boiled vegetables. It was great. It worked just perfect. Three days. I'm done. I'm easing back into my regular diet and I'm feeling lighter and cleaner and kind of resting because you know spring cleaning is a lot of work but that's okay it's good to slow down for just a minute now and then um, and spring cleaning is a great time to do that so it can be easy you can do just go to a mono diet of anything anything at all um, Ayurveda a lot of people that do that use kitchari which is basically rice with uh, usually mung beans, but it can be lentils in it. You can go to Apples. We read a book, The Good Life, by Helen Nearing. And they would have just apples a day a week. That's a great detox. Anytime that you get that simple, your body can rest, relax, and do what it needs to do to clean and then rebuild. And that's the goal, is rebuilding so that you're strong and you don't have all the junk in the closets and in the hallways and overflowing garbage baskets in your body. You've cleaned it all out. So that's it. Time to detox. April showers bring my flowers out in your garden and in you. So shower those flowers, drink lots of water, and have a great, abundant, and healthy day.